uh, over the last couple weeks, uh, we've been, uh, as you know, we've been laying the groundwork for developing an entrepreneurial ecosystem in southeastern Mass through a mixture of, of programming uh, as well as one-on-one uh, -on -one assistance to, uh, to not just entrepreneurs, but to get students and faculty at the campus uh, interested in building companies uh, through the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship, which is UMass Dartmouth's business incubator. We provide assistance to companies in a number of ways, uh, primarily through uh, hosting uh, an incubator that uh, provides a physical space for companies to start up, but also uh, we have laboratories, a prototype and machine shop with a dedicated machinist, as well as environmental chem lab and life sciences lab that provides uh, assistance to uh, companies in those spaces and those verticals uh, to get up and running. So um, what we want to do is to engage more students and faculty on campus to think about starting a business. And on that front, uh, about the, uh, at the end of uh, April of this year, we held a startup weekend event where uh, we had over 70 students give up a, uh, a sunny weekend to, uh, to build or pursue their ideas around a business. Uh, we had over 20 ideas get pitched, eight of those got selected, uh, and the company that won, or the team that won, was made up of uh, two PhD students who worked on a, uh, a, a device that was prototyped, uh, prototyped in our uh, prototyping lab, a th 3D printer, uh, that helps... Um, uh, patients with chronic uh, pulmonary uh, uh, heart problems uh, to uh, to uh, better engage with their doctors, and uh, it was an example of not only a physical product that, that we were able to uh, to build out in the prototype lab, but also uh, an example of bringing a technical expertise into uh, actually designing a a product uh, that uh, one of uh, the PhD students uh, ha uh, their uh, her parents uh, were both medical doctors in uh, uh, and uh, they specialize in. Uh, in the heart, and uh, they had mentioned to her a few months ago that this is a chronic issue, that uh, you know, monitoring patients at home is a uh, challenge. So the product that they came up with was something that uh, the patients could take, a doctor could prescribe to them, the patient could take home, and uh, they could uh, do a little self-monitoring and reporting through the Internet of Things back to their physician. Now, that's a great story in and of itself. But it's a the, great story. But the better story is that they did all of that in 54 hours, so from Friday to Sunday, they had a minimally, you know, so they had the concept on Friday. Uh, Saturday, wow. they did uh, some, uh, you know, some, some pivoting uh, about what exactly this thing would look like. They talked to some potential end users. They talked to physicians, which they had access to. And then on by Sunday, they had a minimally viable product that they pitched to a panel of uh, uh, judges who were made up investors, business consultants, and marketing experts. And it's just one example. We have um, uh, this organization, as Jeffrey, as you know, the Southern New England Entrepreneurs Forum, which has been around for uh, the last 10 years, group of volunteers that are just passionate about entrepreneurship in the South Coast, in Southern New England region. And uh, our footprint is really you know, from Rhode Island all the way out to Cape Cod. And on June 9th, we are partnering with the uh, uh, Entrepreneurship for All group, as well as a uh, group called SoCo Launch uh, and other organizations to do uh, our annual end of the year event, but uh, uh, which is a clam boil for those that are interested. I'm happy to describe the difference between a clam boil and a clam bake, but uh, 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 clam boil uh, is something indigenous, uh, certainly to uh, to our region of the state between Fall River and New Bedford. And uh, and what we want to do is to uh, showcase what's happening in entrepreneurship and uh, in in our region. Uh, and so this is a great opportunity to do that. I'm generally modest about the, about things, uh, <laughs> but one of the things I can I can say for sure is that we are going to be we are at the center of the change that's happening within southeastern Massachusetts. And five years from now, we're going to see a completely different makeup in terms of the industry sectors that are representative uh, in the south coast of, uh, of Massachusetts. And um, I think marine tech is a good example of that, but it's not exclusive to, to others. We've got uh, some green tech uh, industries that are world class that are forming up within southeastern Massachusetts that we haven't seen before. So I think that in and of itself, the story about you know going from a traditional 
traditional manufacturing economy, a tra traditional industry base uh, that was present even into the mid-2000s. It's, uh, again, because of global competitive factors has gone away. Uh, that diversification of the economy, I think, is exciting, and, and certainly it's great to be in the heart of it. You know, that uh, as in, and anyone who is in the, the thick of things uh, probably doesn't really get to step back and see what, what's fully going on from a transformative standpoint. So, uh, so 10 years from now, when you know that uh, when we get to sit back and look back, look at what's happened. I think we'll be excited about those changes. Well,